Oh, Jeeves, this is getting a bit thick. Indeed, sir. I can't take much more of this, Jeeves. It is hard, sir. I can hear music, Jeeves. Of a kind, sir. Lord Pershaw informed me that he brought home a few friends last night. That will be Rollo's. Uh, his lordship informed me that he purchased the animal from a Norwegian seaman. He tried to bite me. No doubt in time the creature will learn to distinguish your peculiar scent, sir. What do you mean, my peculiar scent? Jeeves, I do not intend to hang about in my bedroom while life slips by in the hope that one of these days some dratted animal decides that I smell all right. Very good, sir. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> Jeeves, I've decided. I'm going away in this afternoon by the next train. You remember Mr. Todd, Jeeves? No, sir. Yes, you do, Jeeves. Very good, sir. He's a poet. Anyway, I met him again the other night with Tuppy, and he invited me to go and stay with him at Long Island, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some peace and quiet if it's the last thing I do. So you'd better get along to Western Union, send him a telegram warning him to put the fatted calf on gas mark six. Very good, sir. Do you wish me to accompany you, sir? I think not, Jeeves. You'd better stay behind to ensure that Mossy doesn't burn down the old homestead. As you wish, sir. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.